Hiring for in-house legal roles in Hong Kong has remained stable for the past six months and will continue to be so, albeit at a slower pace than years past. Right now, the main demand for legal roles come from multinational companies and Chinese companies that are looking to take advantage of the current market landscape to bring on tier one candidates to facilitate their long-term growth. There's a balanced demand across junior to mid-level and senior roles from technology giants. And for specific sectors like life sciences, asset management, funds, and insurance, we've also seen an increase in headcount this year. Commercial lawyers will always be in the most demand with sought after skills including drafting agreements, regulatory knowledge, and strong stakeholder engagement experience. For roles in the banking industry, lawyers with experience in derivatives, fixed income, and also structured products are still highly sought after. But whatever the tier of roles, Mandarin language skills are becoming more and more crucial as business relations with China continues to increase. Another huge trend is data privacy. Considering the growth of technology, the growth of digital, and the growth of data collection becoming more and more prevalent in our world today, companies of all sizes are looking to harness and safeguard its regulatory compliance. To stand out, candidates should consider upskilling their knowledge, acquiring requisite licenses, and attaining specific experience in data privacy. Many Chinese banks and financial institutions setting up offices in Hong Kong are in the process of getting their licenses spurring demand for local experts to lead and build up their whole compliance section. Ongoing regulatory changes to help stop financial crime have also kept demand steady for regulatory and financial crime compliance professionals. We have been seeing more movement in senior level roles than junior to mid-level roles, as more companies are undergoing restructure or setting up offices elsewhere. For junior to mid-level roles, we see some demand for compliance review managers or assistant managers. In-house compliance experience will be advantages along with Mandarin language skills and understanding of AML and compliance regulatory requirements across APAC. For senior roles, we see hiring across a wide range of roles, including head of compliance, head of AML, head of FCC, and senior AML advisory roles. These roles require solid experience in general compliance as well as financial crime compliance. Many senior roles are also become more hybrid as companies restructure the cut costs. In this highly competitive market, acquiring certifications like ACAMS and AMLP can give candidates an edge in the recruitment process. For more insights, feel free to reach out to me direct or you can download our inside story of legal and compliance in the caption link. Thank you.